Hi! Kind of nervous because I'm not going to be singing for you today. I'm going to be talking about something that we've all had on our minds for a while. The bullying problem. I mean, everyone's been bullied. Everyone's bullied someone. I was tormented by at a very young age by my classmates. And I had anxiety problems. Both my parents had undiagnosed depression as teenagers. And, I mean, a lot of people have experienced terrible things. It's not a new thing. Bullying has been around forever, but what hasn't been around forever is the way we deal with it. On the news, you hear all the time about kids cutting themselves, taking drugs to deal with the pain, having eating disorders, and killing themselves. And it's scary that people are doing this now when they weren't, it wasn't as prevalent back in the day. I don't know if it was st still around, but definitely wasn't as prevalent. And, I mean, all these campaigns and laws saying, be a buddy, not a bully, and are trying to be like, don't be a bystander, are well-meaning, but they don't work. Is anyone really going to say, a teacher told me not to bully people. I'm going to do that now. No, because chances are, no one thinks they're being a bully. No one thinks of themselves as the bad guy. People don't realize it. And everyone's been mean to someone and judged someone without knowing. And been on the opposite side of that. The reason I think that people are turning to hurting themselves because of this is, one, because of undiagnosed depression among teenagers, which is really common. And two, from a very young age, teachers, parents, the media have all told us that we are unique and special, which seems to be trying to counteract with it and is very well-meaning, but because of that, if you have trouble at home or are being bullied or something, you think that because you are unique and special that no one else has been through what you've been through and no one can help you fix it, which just isn't true. I'd say if something bad is happening to you, instead of giving up, Try to fix your problem. Turn to people who you can trust, either your friends or your family, or if supposedly you have none, which I somehow doubt. The magic of the internet, there are lots of support groups. Find No one can tell you you're beautiful, you're loved, you're worth it, and just have you believe it. You have to believe it yourself. And you could do that through multiple ways. Turn to religion, turn to a hobby, writing, music, something to help you as opposed to giving up on life. Because the beautiful thing about the teenage years is that they don't last forever. So why hurt yourself over something that's going to end? Once you graduate high school and leave home, all of this is going to change. I can't say it gets better because no one knows. But that's the key. You never know what's going to happen in life. So it's no use giving it up. That's why I like the programs like If You Only Knew Me and It Gets Better. Because people who've been through the same things you've been through are talking about these problems and helping you deal with them. I don't know you. I don't know your life. But all I do know is that it can get better. And you just have to wait it out and see. You're not alone, and try to fix what is in front of you instead of hiding and giving it up, because whether you believe it or not, you're worth the trouble. I hope this has helped. See ya.